Hello everyone, Attack Power here with Game 2 between Dennis and Yapasa in the Kingdom of Steel Tournament Round 1. Let's dive right in here to Zabushin. And on the left, in the red, we have Dennis Diderot playing second New Zealand on V4 Victory. And on the right, in the blue, we have Japasa playing 25th Harushtali on Balanced Income. So two interesting division choices. Second New Zealand, solid. One of the stronger Commonwealth divisions, to be sure. Your usual mix of Sherman spam, 17-pounders, uh, 6-pounders, that sort of stuff. Uh, great infantry. You have Oplites, Maori, uh, Diggers. I'm not a huge fan of the Maori personally. Uh, they're supposed to get an upgrade with the new traits and stuff, though, so they might be interesting again. Uh, you know, plenty of, like I said, 6-pounders uh, and 17-pounders here, although he doesn't have a ton of 17-pounders. Only one card in A. Uh, with so only two 17 pounders kind of surprising uh, especially dealing with the Zirnis out of 25th um, he's got a couple 25 pounders a card of off map and then just uh, some Spitfire bombers Baltimore bombers yeah, nothing crazy out of the out of the box here pretty standard build cool to see him doing um, V for victory although his deck builds a little odd for that he's got four cards of infantry in B so I'm not sure if this is like a balanced deck he or, or a maverick deck that he's flipped to v for victory and didn't really alter the infantry tab little strange but anyway over to 25th with yapasa here uh, i'm not a huge fan of 25th i was just trying it the other day and i, I just find it to be really a lackluster division uh Zirnis are great of course i mean they're fun uh but you know it's really hard to kill tanks in a phase it's a pain in the butt he does have the hetzers in a though so that should definitely help him out uh, B phase, you do get the T-34, 1942 variants, um, which kind of help. And then C phase, you get the Panthers. You also get the Panzer IVs in the recon tab, so that definitely helps. Uh, Higavidash, though, are pretty... Uh, they're they're kind of inefficient in terms of, like, CQC infantry. They're solid, don't get me wrong, but they're not doing crazy stuff at 25 points. They're not blowing anything out of the water uh for sure there you get a nice spattering of aa in the aa tab you get a good at tab as well and uh the me 210s he's bringing in b which is cool and the action has begun here a spitfire right off the bat this is a great recon plane one of the best in the game actually uh it is 95 points but it does come with two 20 mils which means this thing can very efficiently shoot things down as extremely fast and it's nice that it does both jobs uh looks like here dennis going pretty far he's looking to get into this upper area you know like you usually do that's nothing shocking truth be told uh he is going to actually try to contest this this uh forest over here not just leave it uh looks like yapasa going as well of course this, this flag's very easy for blue to grab and this flag's very easy for red to grab although in this matchup uh uh 25th is very slow the uh, lang shorter shocks are the only ones who can actually get into position quickly Let's see if this piot can do the job can it land the hit? Nope, the Langzords are going to get out of line of sight first. Will the Staghound pick up any kills here? And it does. Takes out the Lang short of shock there. Nice little kill. Staghound might be able to get some kills here, but he's just zipping it past. Not sure I totally agree with that. He really could have just stopped here and picked up a whole bunch of kills, especially these Botons, which are extremely slow. 40 mil out already for Yapasa to force off this C fire. A uh, Spitfire, excuse me. I don't know why I said C fire. Although, hey, uh, 40, pack 40 does get in. Will the Maori unload in time? Looks like it will. Currently 12-12. Staghound with the HE in position. Should do some good damage. So, Shvalos. A Zirni, though, going to be a bit of an issue. Not much to kill that there. And all of these units going to get up here just fine. Yeah, not a big fan of this position by Dennis for the Staghound. Definitely could have, like, been in here and done some good damage. The pack 40 had time to get in Staghound can kill this csab though journey looking for targets the sniper is getting forced off takes a hit the csab a takes a hit more journeys coming in yeah i mean uh your pasta really just needs to lean into his journeys uh with with dennis only bringing the two 17 pounders there's nothing else in the deck other than the wolverines that can actually efficiently kill those i mean six pounders can but they're gonna they have to work like it ain't easy so i i'm a little surprised at dennis's choice here if he picked first that's fine but you could have he there's more 17 pounder cards so it's just weird that he decided to bring one card and that's it really kind of odd 
Got to draw us into the woods. Uh, these are not very good CQC units. I mean, they're they're good because they have a flamer, but truthfully, they only have four submachine guns. The three rifles don't do much at close range. Um, they're not incredible. I, I don't actually know if they'll beat the Higavadash or not. I really don't. Because the Higavadash have the uh, Madsen, so they do have an automatic rifle, which means they shoot at less than 150 meter range. Kadrama's though getting caught out in the open. Not good. They will die off very quickly. Smoke goes down. Kadrama's trying to get in close, but again, I'm not sure. Yeah, look at the Higavadash beating the Kadrama's. I mean, this is this is where things start to split, I would think. The Higavadash sued their Molotov already, and now the Kadrama's gets to keep firing the flamer. Does look like they're gonna win. Alright, so the Higabadash does uh, lose out to the Kadramas. And over here, uh, something hit. Not, oh, a Spitfire. Spitfire bomber in, getting a really nice hit on all the infantry, but they do fall back in time, and the Kadramas does not get to pick up any surrenders. Dennis now on the 1311. He really needs to because he is on that V for victory income. Gotta be honest, I'm a big fan of the V for victory against balanced, specifically. Um... Uh, I'm losing my love of it for against Maverick. The 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 point discrepancy is pretty massive. It's kind of tough, uh, but in t against balanced, it's really nice to be able to get that early advantage, um, and take early positions. You're the the balanced player doesn't actually like pick up that many points. They end up with 150 more points than you at the end of B phase, but that's not like huge. That's not a huge deal, to be honest with you. And especially, like, if in A phase you can take some really key positions and, and be play defensively then, uh, you can really force the balance player to make attacks they don't necessarily want to make and force them to trade down. So that is why I'm a fan of it. But so far, Dennis not getting enough done here. He actually lost the easy flag here. Definitely not great. And what's going to happen, too, is he's going to run out of CQC. Um, 25th, ooh, 4 EM takes out the, the Staghound. Uh, what's going to happen here is he's just going to get, he, he's going to run out of Catadramas, which he's probably almost out of anyway, because he only gets five. So I think we've seen nearly five already, if we haven't seen five. And um, then the Higavadash will basically dominate the woods. There's not really much they can do. Maori beating out the Lovesh 25G. They should. Their machine guns are better. Though they don't have much else in long-range fire support. Stuart really needs to move in here to help support this. Maori will get overwhelmed. Here comes a JU-87. No AA to stop it. JU-87 going for the cheeky 25-pounder attack. Will the Spitfire get there in time? It does, but it can't shoot it down. Oh! Oh, what a kill. So ballsy. I love it. Dennis kind of deserves that one. If you're going to leave yourself completely air defenseless, J87 does go down, but I'm not sure that was worth losing a 25 pounder over. Sniper's here going after the Higgabadash. Sniper should technically win. I mean, it would, it'll pin the Higgy before the Higgy kills him. We're just going to call him a Higgy. The Higgies. Stuart going after it as well. Should definitely help out. CSABA can't really do anything. It's only got an anti-tank rifle. It's probably, okay, the scouts are in a position where they can't see this, so that's why he can't see it. I was about to say, I'm surprised he can't, but he can. All right, infantry getting forced out here. Piot could, probably going to die to Lang Sword of Shock, I would think. Although, Stuart helping out quite a lot, actually. Stewart's the biggest issue with these guys is the slow rate of fire it can really hurt. Although this is a Stewart five, it might shoot a little faster. I'm not sure. Although reinforcements are desperately needed, this is a nice push here from Yapasa. About three minutes left here in A. Rifle Piot not actually in the building. Awkward. Here comes a Baltimore and a Spitfire. Hitting the low Vesh 25G, and the 
Baltimore pinning his own troops down, but does force off the Hick of a dash. But yeah, pass on a 1311, recapturing the flag up north, although he might lose that here momentarily, and grabbing this southern flag once again. Dennis could definitely move up and recapture this, though. He could go right to here pretty safely. And he is doing that now. 25 pounder going after the 40 mil. Great choice. One of second New Zealand's big strengths is his Air Force, although he's not like leaning into that. He's really only got the two cards of bombers, and that's it. All those Spitfires and Baltimore's two great choices. Dennis back to a 1311 now. Forty M here, a dangerous counter to all this light armor coming in. Not sure how we feel about these staghounds. They fire really slow for only doing 2.2 damage. But on the flip side, they're only 25 points, so eh. pros and cons, pros and cons. And if you guys are enjoying this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch. Action has died down here. A Hatoro Juror got through here, but it's not going to do very much, I wouldn't think. Catadrama is being overwhelmed here. I mean, Dennis on the 13-11, we're about to hit B phase. We'll see if he can survive the the crackback. Shvalos are going after the machine. Ooh, ooh, the sniper taking a ton of damage because it's on the move and dies. Ouch. Not great there. Second New Zealand, plenty of snipers, though, so he should get more in B. And things very quiet. 25 pound rifle. Well, we do see a 149. This is one of the best arty pieces in the game. Like, just straight up. It's so good. It's the fastest firing super heavy piece of artillery in the game, I believe. Six round a minute for a 149 millimeter piece of artillery is insane. Let's see his baby fire. Boom. Nice. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy good. Like, usually the standard is is like four. Four is a solid number. Stuart goes down to the artillery. Four is a solid number of rate of fire on a big gun like this. Uh, three is slow, but not very common. Uh, but anything above four is very uncommon for a 149 or 50, 150 millimeter gun. I believe, again, this is the only gun that fires that fast. Really one of the highlight strengths of Hungar Hungary, of the Hungarian divisions in general. Also, Yapasa making good use of uh, leadership here. He's got a commander in, and that is making a big difference here. Uh, Dennis doesn't even have a commander to bring in. So he's not going to be able to ever counter this, this veterancy advantage. She can out in the open. Not 100% sure how I feel about that. Those triple stars, guys. Triple stars on your troops really makes a big difference. Kind of drama's just pushing in. 40M did go down. Not, I guess the machine gun found it. Along with the half track. Or the armored car, excuse me. Catadramas gets its smoke down, but it's not going to be close enough yet. He's going to have to keep walking that smoke. Wolverine going after the Higavadash. Then it's still on the 1311. And that's all he needs. It's not like he needs to have like a 15-9 to win or anything like that. But still probably would have liked more. Artillery, he assumed it was in the building, but it's actually not, which is kind of funny. I don't think he meant for it to be out in the open, but it actually paid off that it was. Like shoulder shot, kind of drama. Kind of drama should win easy. We'll see. The Lovesh are going to come back in. Lang shoulder shot goes down. He give a dash now showing up there with their Molotov, and that's going to swing the fight here. Off it goes, and down the Catadramas go. There's too many infantry in here. 25 pounder continue to go after that 40 mil, but I really feel light artillery like the 25 pounder really needs a buddy. Uh, using them singularly is not going to do that much at the end of the day. Sherman 1B in. Nice 2K range HE weapon. Always good. Spitfire coming in for that Shvalos and no AA up north. So these are going to just totally wreck. Oh, the Shvalos are dodges. That's unfortunate. Baltimore bombing nothing in particular. He doesn't. He's just taking a stab. That stab is a failure. 
Although I like this push. This flag is very capturable for red. You just kind of push down through here and you can do it very successfully. Piat does find the Schwaloza. Spitfire not retreated yet. T-34, though, going to clean up this armor up here. Staghound, he hasn't noticed yet. Staghound will go down. Stuart really has no chance either. Really needs to back these up, but he hasn't seen it. There you go. He now does and backs it away. Sniper going for the Lovesh 25G. I think the Lovesh win this one, especially if the T-34 gets involved. Spitfire still floating around. Maori getting overwhelmed by the Hataror. Not great for him. Staghound moving to save that. Jirni in a nice position here looking down the road. Jirni's haven't actually been a huge effect. Although, it's easy to say that, but you, you forget that the 2K here is blocking any more reinforcements from, like, getting further in. Uh, really, you can see it here now. He's going to get a shot off. Most likely. Nope. Loses line of sight. But it, it is blocking off chunks of the map bit by bit. Lovesh 25G can't get in. Six pounder coming to try to kill off the T-34. Six pounder going to go down here, though. Piot getting hit. Field engineers dying off here. If Dennis has not noticed he's going to lose his Piot. Wolverine, no, Wolverine's still alive. Dennis still in the 1311. I mean, he's happy to sit, especially through B phase here. About halfway through B phase at this point. And Yapasa's really not making any huge pushes yet. It looks like up north is where he's decided to go. Catching out the uh, Arkazox before they can push across. That's what he needs. Diggers Piot need to get in a better position. They are now moving. And Dennis needs, he's got a leader back here doing absolutely nothing. I mean, it's such a waste. Piot finally goes down. Does not get its opportunity to kill the T-34. Sherman coming on in. Sherman versus T-34 is always an interesting fight. But the T-34 is probably going to get the first shot off here. Well, especially because it's triple star. Just kidding. Apparently they can't see each other, even though I clearly see lines of sight on both of them. Womp womp. ME-210 got itself in. Killed off uh, Stewart, I think? Yep. These ME-210s are really solid. They got four rockets. They actually do a, a nice bit of damage. T-34 taking some bounces from the Stuart. Stuart doesn't have a good chance. Might have gotten a side shot. Dennis trying to get this six-pounder in position here. Yapasa now, though, on the 1311 with this flag and the northern flag captured. Definitely not great. Mallory's in some nice positions to hold things off. Does recapture this flag. Get loses it again. Spitfire coming in. I'm not sure if he'll get through the 40 mil. It does. Nice bombing on T-34. Sherman on the run. Piot gets spotted. Well, it's not Piot, but the diggers Piot gets spotted. ME-210 takes out the Maori that was holding things up. Catadromas dies in the transport. That's rough. That's his last one. 40M's going to find that Stuart. And he fires the rocket instead of just shooting the small gun. He's going to regret that, actually. Although the CSABA might do the job. Gets it shot off, kills that. If he had just used the normal gun, that would have died first. But, yeah, it happens. It's dead. Tack Beacon looks like some counter battery going to start. Although I don't feel like the 25 pounder has done very much. I'm not 100% sure. Six pounder killed off the T-34. HMG should be able to pin down these infantry. They are too close together. Although it keeps switching targets, so they may get away with this. Oh, their, their machine gun's pretty terrible. 1410 now for Yapasa grabbing this flag and once again that northern flag and uh, this one here in the center. 
Which is a tough flag to hold for red. Not gonna lie. And it looks like the balance V for victory gap is starting to show a little bit here. Definitely a problem. Dennis really needs to hold that ground. Wolverine's fine. Oh, it's going way too far forward. No, 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 no. Bad. If he had just stopped and shot the infantry, he would have been fine. Now the Panzer IV, though. Oh, actually gets the first hit. Dirty. Both. Well, no. Now the Panzer IV hits. Wolverine misses. Panzer IV both gets their shot off. Wolverine, Panzer IV trade. And that's a good trade for Yapasa there because there's nothing else to stop him. Now the Maori getting discovered on the hill. T-34 holding this flag. Maori coming in. T-34 in a tight spot. Going to be hard to get it dug out. Although this Maori grabbing this flag. Nice grab there for Dennis. Spitfire hitting the Higgavadash, but they do retreat first. Baltimore gets his bombs off as well. Sherman eliminating infantry, what it does best. Tearing them down. Lovesh stuck in a glitch. That's kind of annoying. Jirni misses its heat, but it will hit eventually, and the Stuart's not going to kill it, so this is a bad fight. He really he needs to fall back. I mean, he could this Stuart could survive. It's not going to on this third heat shot. It's going to hit. No, it misses again. Oh, goodness gracious. How bad is the HE? A, uh, heat accuracy, 30%. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Stuart does get away. Wow, that's that's dirty. Wolverine misses the T-34 at, what, 500 meter range? Very frustrating, but the T-34 does go down. ME-210 getting a uh, strike in on the Maori, killing them off, flipping that flag back to Yapasa just as Dennis was about to get his 12-12 back. A lot of infantry eliminated here out in the open. Sherman 1B in, good call in here from Dennis. Should be able to counter some of these infantry. Although Maori now pinned and this flag flipped. Journey fighting that steward again. Will it miss this time? It will. Oh my goodness. This is the luckiest SOB I've ever seen. I don't think he's missing this one. Nope. The steward finally goes down. The luckiest steward we've ever known. Black 88 now on the hill as well. And we're now in a C phase though. Dennis back to full power in terms of income. 17 pounder. In position, but not. Oh, I guess. I mean, okay, sure. Sight, sight line tool. You, you do you. What do you need to be accurate for, really, I guess? Uh oh, Pack 40 finding the Sherman. At long range, the Sherman might do okay. It does have 110 millimeters of armor. But it needs to start hitting. No, he's he's purposely targeting the Schwarloza. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, if he was targeting the pack, I'd say he'd have an okay chance, but he's not. Oh, and there's the first pen. This is a major micro mistake here by Dennis. Schwarloza's still alive. Oh no. He needed this not to die so bad. And that was that was a pretty serious mistake there for Dennis. 17 pounder hitting that Jirni. Misses though. Jirni doing a lot of damage. T-34 coming in. Piot, will it get magical? The 17 pounder is not. Goes down to the Jirni. Wow. That's frustrating. Diggers versus Higabadash there. Maori trying to get in. Dennis looking very thin. Yapasa looking very swole right now with troops, you know. I mean, maybe he's very swole in real life, too. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure where Dennis's troops are going right now. I mean, he's getting 160 points a tick. I mean, he's got... It's been several minutes now, so he should have something coming. Sherman 3 coming in. Diggers miss their Piot. Can they land the second one? 
No, they can't. Oh, God. He's got a normal Piot right there. He will get off another. It will land finally. What is this digger doing? Sherman 3 is now kind of free to do it at once, unless this one heat shell actually lands. Piot now going to die. Uh, late to the party. I'd say better late than never, but in this case, never would have been much better. 1311, Yapasa flipping the flags finally here. Heat Shell does not miss this time. The 40M performing lovely there. Taking out that Sherman. That's a huge kill. That Sherman could have tore through absolutely everything here except for that journey. More 149s in. Oh, sorry, on him. It's a late night for attack power. Maori versus Higgy. Not a great matchup there in the woods. And down the Maori go. Another flag flipping. Impasa now on the 15 9. The dreaded double tick. Infantry getting absolutely wrecked up here. Yeah, I mean, second New Zealand infantry are strong, but they're not overwhelmingly strong. They're not. Um, they're not like crazy good. They're pretty efficient for what they are, but they are not amazingly good. Um, they're, they're not overwhelmingly powerful. I don't know how else to say it. People will go right into the college and be like, ah, you're hating on Commonwealth. I'm not hating on Commonwealth. Like, it's a good division. Its infantry just aren't, like, super high quality. They're efficiently costed and good for their price, but that they, that means that they're going to lose against infantry that are a little bit better for higher prices or something. And now, Yapasa grabbing both these southern flags here. Another Zirni in along with a Jagdpanzer. Not sure how he kills this at this point. Again, I, I'm really surprised at this singular card of 17 pounders. I mean, those are like legitimately his only weapon for killing all of these Zirnis and stuff. And he only brought... Uh, maybe there is only one card. Even if they're eight, I would have probably brought him in B. Even though you're B for victory, it doesn't even matter. Like, you need more than two. I'm pretty sure every Commonwealth Division, though, comes with more than one part of 17-pounders. Except maybe CIL. It just seems odd to me. Piot does land on the CSABA. Oh, man, that thing's a mouthful. So nice kill there from the Piot. But now he's getting overwhelmed in the center. The Sherman out of position. Now it's moving. Hansegren's now in. And still the big difference in, in uh, whatchamacallit, veterancy. Jirni tearing through that M2HB there. Down it's going to go. Ouch. I mean, a six-pounder could do some damage here, but it's going to really struggle. Sherman tearing through some infantry, although it's getting hunted by the Panzer Gun with the Panzer Faust. He is backing up, though. Panzer Gun's found the Piot instead. Double tick still going, though. Now there's a pack 40. Covering down the road. Kills that. I, I don't see a line of sight here. But, you know, whatever. Baltimore now in. It looks like his Air Force. It looks like Dennis has been investing more in his Air Force. Uh, not a huge fan of that when you're on the back foot like this. Especially with Yopas's air defense is getting thicker and thicker. Baltimore does not get its bombs off. Yeah, I would say more Shermans for this area. You could really dominate with the Shermans. What was that big boom? Oh, it's the 149s. Going after the 50 cals. We do see an off map now. Ooh, 140 almost goes down. You know I love to see an off map die. Death to the off map. I would be so happy. 
140 is solid off map for sure. Should help at least recapture this flag for a time, but 1311 and 1410 are the same thing. At least point wise. Diggard's getting hit in a bad spot here. Staghound trying to save him. Should. It has two machine guns. Staghound actually puts out some pretty decent anti infantry fire. Here comes the 140. Let's watch that leader die. Huh, 140 a little lighter looking than I thought. No, this, this soft map's not as devastating as I expected it to be. That's it? Huh. Weird. Spitfire does kill off some infantry, so nice kills there. They are going to get out. Spitfires have so much agility, they just don't get pinned by... They don't get pinned by A very well. And for those wondering again, agility does not mean turning ability. It means the ability to dodge AA. Weird, I understand, but that is what it means. Back to a 1311. Oh, just getting back to a 1410. Dennis holding on desperately, currently at a single tick. Has broken down some of these units down south, but he has no way to kill all this stuff. Like, he just doesn't have a way to kill this armor. I'm not sure what his plan is to actually work through. I mean, just poor infantry on it like hobo style this thing sherman goes down to the artillery yeah the 149's absolutely carving through him this off map actually kind of sucks i thought it was bigger it's 100 oh it's 140 not 149 maybe that's why but that still seems really small for 140 it's been spotted and down it goes. Yes, death to the off map. Did get both its two charges off. I think it should have had three, so he did miss out on one. Spitfire going way too deep here. Uh, oh, it's trying to absorb some Baltimore fire. I understand for the Baltimore. I understand now. I understand. Will the bombs kill? No, they will fail. Wow, that's unfortunate for Dennis. That's a rough one. He sacrificed a lot of resources to make that happen. Diggers getting in position. Artillery, though, already falling on the infantry who are currently there. Sherman doing a nice job of car killing through some of these infantry, although the T-34 is still kind of a brick wall. Six-pounder, though, in position. Should be able to kill that if it can land a hit. Yep. And down the T-34 goes. Nice kill there for Dennis. Artillery just destroying his infantry. Staghound goes down up north. Everyone be in a nice spot here. I mean, apparently there's not a line of sight here now. I, I don't understand. But back to a 59 now for Yopaza. And Dennis throws in the towel. 30 minutes and 40 seconds. I do understand. Oh, my goodness. A 2,760 to 1,715 kills there. Yopaza pretty significantly out trading Dennis there. So tough game for Dennis. Dennis is now out of the tournament and Yapasa will be my opponent for my round one of the Kingdom of Steel tournament. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. Thanks a bunch and have a fantastic day.